Okay, just in case you're wondering, if you haven't watched a previous video on this, it's a Quarters and Smith Type 6H power hacksaw. Um, I bought it secondhand from a guy who I don't think he'd actually used it himself. I don't know. I think it possibly came with a workshop he's got, something like that. Um, it was very, very messy. It was caked in old engine oil. It looked like the old engine oil had been used as cutting fluid, so you can imagine what sort of state it was in. The motor was a 415 volt three-phase motor, an old Hoover motor. The bearings seemed a bit dodgy, the wiring wasn't so good, so and also the voltage isn't any good for me either, so I've changed the motor. It's now uh, a 220 volt um, delta configuration um, three-phase eight-pole motor and so because it's an eight-pole motor it runs at 50 hertz quite slowly 680 rpm obviously that's adjustable worth because I've got it on a VFD so at the moment it's running at 50 hertz and at 50 hertz at the full speed of the motor it's well not the full speed actually because I can push the motor to 75 hertz or possibly above that but uh, at this speed at 50 hertz um, I think this is plenty quick enough we've got the same model of Axor at work and it absolutely flies it's really really quick and um, scary quick actually I don't like that and uh, there's no rush, this is in my home workshop, so this is fine for me. Let me just move the camera a little bit. Hopefully you can see this clear enough. I'm only using the uh, phone camera. Just move back a touch. You'll notice that I've mounted the saw on a couple of wooden skids. Uh, I did have some thoughts about sticking it on casters. I'm glad I didn't, this is perfectly fine. I've made the skids relatively high because I've got a mechanical pallet truck, not a normal hydraulic pump truck, it's just a mechanical one. And it's got two positions really, it's either fully down or, or fully up. And the up position is quite high. And if I made these skids quite thin, Although I could get under the machine, um, there's a risk of it toppling if, say, something failed on the truck, uh, which is a possibility because the truck, I think, is rated for something like 250 kilos max and this saw weighs 340. So I like the fact that when the pallet truck is fully up and it's under this machine, then the skids are only like half an inch or thereabouts up off the concrete floor so if anything did fail it's not very far to drop. So the hydraulic lift mechanism or relief mechanism you can possibly make out on the forward stroke so when I say the forward stroke coming to this end uh, so going this way it lifts and then on the cutting stroke which is this way there's an arrow and it says cutting on the cutting stroke going backwards so you need the teeth going so it's going to cut that way uh, on the cutting stroke, then there's more downwards pressure. Uh, if I just pop this lever into this position, you'll see it's going to lift. I won't let it lift all the way, but as you can probably guess, it does. Uh, I haven't got a blade in here at the moment, so it's a bit of a pointless exercise showing this really, but uh, if I were to depress this lever, it would go down, come to the material, the, the blade would come to the material and uh, then once it's gone cut through the material this stop is going to then push that lever off now of course because I don't have um, a blade in there or I'm not cutting anything at the moment it's it's a little bit pointless but I'll just push the lever down and show you and so hopefully I've got this adjusted, adjusted about right but there's still room for adjustment, I can, I can easily adjust that. Uh, you can also adjust the rise and fall uh, rate as well. So that, as you can see, is a little bit more aggressive. That's coming up more quickly. 